Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for No Face or Head Shave. Get your minds out of the gutter. Okay, we are not shaving anything right now. We're doing a contest. You know what? It's a beautiful day outside. Let's do a contest. Let's do a giveaway. Nothing wrong with a little giveaway, right? Unless you're not Conus. Sorry, this is Conus only. I'm not paying shipping for outside the country. That's not happening. So, uh, sorry guys and girls. So, what are we giving away today? We are giving away a product from Sherlock Razor Company. This is his business card right there, Mr. Justin Sherlock himself. I gotta tell you, this is one of the most badass business cards I think I've ever seen. I like this thing. This thing's cool. Um, I actually put this on my bureau, like with all my other my shaving stuff. I kind of just have it sitting there just because it's badass. I like that. So, anyway, his razors do come shipped in one of these little bags here. These can I think it's canvas uh, bag that you put the stuff in it to, uh, or you put the items in it to keep it from getting scratched and banged around. And then, of course, he bubble wraps it. But in and of itself, that's the company. What are we giving away? We're giving away this beauty right here, Gillette Tech. And this is a three-piece razor that has been, there you go. This three-piece razor has been recoded by Mr. Sherlock himself. Now, the information that I found online, the best I can tell is that this is a fat-handled gold tech razor that was made somewhere between 1946 and 1950. Furthering further details I don't think are possible to narrow it down if you know of a way to do that and you end up with this razor feel free to do your own research however the research I can find shows that this razor was gold when he got it uh, before he custom colored it so that's what tells me it is the fat handled gold tech razor made between those years now Sherlock razor company is anybody's never heard of them they're a great company. I love doing business with them. I've had some business done recently. Justin's a great guy. The customer service is what sells me on this. See, if you have a great product, great shave cream, great aftershave, it doesn't matter to me if the customer service sucks. If you own a business, you need to be prepared to deal with customer concerns or complaints. And if somebody contacts you with a complaint or a concern, respectively, and you cop an attitude, I'm not doing business with it. You know what I mean? Like you have to have, be able to have good cu customer relations. And he does. I didn't have any problems or complaints with him. However, he answered every one of my questions and some of the information I wanted to ask him, I lost. So I had to kind of revisit him about it and he was great about that. So it's, it's really, a, he's really a great guy to deal with. Reach out to him. If you have any questions, throw him an email. It's on his website at SherlockRazorCo.com. So, having said that, here's a little bit closer look at that razor. Having a safety razor can be a delight in and of itself, but having one made specific to your taste can be amazing. Justin Sherlock over at Sherlock Razor Company is doing just that by offering a custom coloring service on razors. He offers your choice in any color that he has available to him, including the company-owned chameleon colors, which appear to change depending on the light and the angle that the razor is placed in. The coloring that Justin uses for the razors come from three different products. They're called Gun Coat, Coat, and Gun Candy. It's the same coloring that gets applied to firearms during their production process. Justin will coat just about any razor as long as he is comfortable with disassembling and reassembling it. This includes the Gillette Slim Adjustable, one of his specialties. The process is pretty simple. Once you've decided what colors you want the razor to be, you simply download the template that is provided on his website for your razor of choice and indicate what parts you want to have what colors. He reviews the template and then contacts you with further details and pricing. The templates that I am referring to can be found on his website at SherlockRazorCo.com. The coloring is extremely durable and heat treated care for it after the customization is very simple. A child's toothbrush and some Dawn dish soap. It does not get any easier than that. Justin started his Kansas-based company in March of 2019 and has been turning out razors of all different shapes, sizes, and eras of production. 
Although Justin does not specifically have a favorite razor type himself, he does love the history of vintage razors and the collectability of the unique razors that history has a tendency of turning out. Okay, folks, we are back. So this contest, we're going to keep it pretty simple. Just comment with, I'm in. I've done contests like this before, and they go seem to go over pretty well that way. Had a couple of hiccups here and there. However, let's keep this simple. Conus, comment with, I'm in, and you have two days. All right, I'm going to say that again. You have two days. Two. Okay. Am I going to time it to the exact hour? No, but you have today and tomorrow. And the next day, which would be Thursday, I'm going to draw a winner. That's, that's the best, it's the fairest way I can, I can do it. If it's not something that's right for you, then you don't have to participate. But I'm sure this razor is definitely out there for somebody. So you got two days, comment with I'm in. And uh, again, Conus only please, I will take care of the shipping when the time comes. So again, Gillette Tech Razor, the uh, fat handled Gold Tech, 1946, 1950, somewhere in there, best that I can tell. Uh, it is, uh, has been completely recoded. I have not shaved with this. I have shaved with a Gillette Tech before and found their uh, shaves to be uh, really nice and smooth. This one I did not shave with, and I didn't do that on purpose because this is essentially a new vintage razor. Uh, he took the razor, stripped it down, and recoded it, so this has not shaved anybody's face at all. And I kind of wanted to be able to pass that on to whoever wins the razor. So uh, I did not shave with this on purpose. It is brand new, or newly coated, vintage razor. I've got plenty of history there, so you've got kind of the best of both worlds. That's what I love about having razors redone. You end up with a brand new old razor. Bit of an oxymoron, but it's pretty cool, I think. So. That's the deal. That's the contest. I'm in. Conus only. Two days. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I will randomly select a winner using a random uh, comment selector that I can use online. And uh, good luck to everybody. So thanks for watching. And if anybody has not subscribed, please do so. And uh, good luck with the contest.